If you'd like to group your content in a single application, you can create a portal with the pages of related content. A portal is a folder structure to which you can add multiple pages with the option to build them on the same level or in a hierarchy. Let's create a portal. On the home page, select the workspaces view. Choose the workspace in which you want to create the portal and then on the action bar, click portal. Depending on your environment, the portal option may appear on the application tab. Portals use a static URL that allows you to easily share access to your visualizations, making your information available to anyone in your organization. You can easily navigate between pages in a portal, providing access to a substantial amount of information. You can use cascading style sheets to style the portal to match your branding, including your logo. If you enable personal pages in a portal, users can add their own pages to the published portal to show additional insights. This is only available if you enable the functionality for your users. You can create new pages directly within your portal structure in the order that you want them to appear. Create new folders in a portal to organize subsections of related pages. You can use the portal structure to guide the information that you want to show on each page. You can add an existing page to a portal by copying it or moving it into a portal or creating a shortcut. Shortcuts are useful when you use a page in multiple portals. If you make a change to the page, it can be reflected anywhere it's shown. For more information, see the new Web Focus Portal video and the Creating Portals topic in the Knowledge Base. Let's start populating our portal by assembling new pages from charts and reports that we created previously. If you don't know how you want to structure your portal, don't worry. You can create your pages and then add them to a portal. On the Web Focus homepage, click the plus button and then click Assemble Visualizations. Web Focus Designer opens and prompts you to select a template. Since you are using existing content, you do not need to select a data source. To add content to the page, drag an item from your repository in the Content tab to the canvas. This creates a container that you can easily resize using the handles. If you add content to a page that contains parameters, Web Focus Designer recognizes them and prompts you to automatically create filters. If you click the Quick Filter icon, filter controls are added to the page with all available parameters displayed. You can also use the Choose Filters to Add to Page option on the Quick Filter menu to select the individual filter controls that you want to add. Pages assembled from external content include additional filter styling options. You can change filter types, merge related filters, and configure different default filter values by user or by values previously used for that parameter. You can style various elements using the options on the Settings and Format tabs and add different types of containers to the page, some of which allow you to add multiple items to a single element. To learn more, Visit the Web Focus Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.